Typically, when we're talking about the worst owners in sports, it's because they're wildly cheap. Or yeah, this is true. Dumb. Uh, well, John J. Fisher and Daniel Snyder would agree. Yes. Um, wildly cheap for Fisher, wildly dumb for Snyder. And it appears the NFL is keeping vain with keeping very rich but very dumb people in yeah. charge yeah. as Carolina Panthers owner David Tepper has stepped in it again. Not only has he plowed through coaches, traded a, a mile and a half of resources to draft Bryce Young and hand the Bears, Caleb Williams, and uh, DJ Moore, and more because they have a 2025 second round pick. That could, this could, it, we could be approaching. Worst trade ever? No. I like it. It's not quite Herschel Walker. It's not Walker, Herschel. But it won't, it won't well, turn into... It could. I still don't give the Bears that much credit. I have my apprehensions about sure. this. I want the Bears to be really stinking good. Yeah. And they have the potential to. Matt Eberflus is a big obstacle in all of this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the fact that, remember, they went Shane Waldron as their OC. Yes. Okay? And we remember what Jackson Smith and Jigba said. Good luck. At, at Super Bowl, it's like, uh, is this is this live? <laughs> So I have my questions there. I have my questions, but mm-hmm. the framework and what Ryan Poles has been doing is pretty damn impressive yes. with Chicago. With that being said, David Tepper also uh, threw a drink at a, on a fan where he was fined, what, $300,000 by That's the right. league? That's right. And then uh, had to you know make sure the fan was taken care of. And again, fired and hired and fired six coaches in four years, uh, Was has been caught by multiple people in various circumstances, uh, berating players and coaches. Like, I, the number of dumb things that have happened in a very short period of time is staggering. Like, this is the kind of things you usually see from a from a bat s crazy owner over twenty years. Well, He's stacking it up quick. Let's not forget the legal issues that he is embroiled in over the yes. Carolina Panthers practice facility, which and they home, started home and base then operations, stopped. and it's become a Big mess in in Carolina. So they've got massive issues, and David Tepper is at the center of it. And remember, they got David Tepper in place because the previous owner, Jerry Richardson, was a creep. Was a slime ball. <laughs> oh, Jeans Friday. Huh? So oh, Jeffy likes Jeans Friday over there. We're 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 now what? I'm catching strays over here. I mean do you have jorts on right now? No, I have exactly. jeans on right now. Because yeah, it's Jeans Friday! No. I don't own any jorts. They were <laughs> lightly blue dyed cotton docker shorts. Faded. Mm. Oh, cotton. Mm. Prove it. <laughs> we're on Monday, damn it. <laughs> but let's pile on David Tepper here. Yeah, okay. David Tepper showed up at a restaurant where on the marquee sign out front, the owner has uh, voiced his displeasure over him. Uh, various times throughout the season. Uh, the most recent one being the sign read, please let the coach and GM pick this year. Mm. That's a good one. That's it a is. good one. But David Tepper stopped into the restaurant and had a conversation with the owner. It's caught on video. That's not even the worst part. Yeah. He takes, he reaches forward and takes the owner's hat Little. Off of his head. Oh uh, no! Yeah, in which case, uh, I would slap the living hell out of you. Yeah, that's grounds for an ass whooping. If some random dude came yeah. face to face with me and leaned in and grabbed the hat yeah. off my head, the uh-huh. second you pulled, you're getting an open palm to the face yeah. as a reminder of no. what the hell are you doing? It's not happening. It should be noted, not a random dude, a billionaire. Yes. Who yeah. you've had a run in with before, before. Yeah. because in January he put out a sign um, comparing David Tepper to Jerry Jones. He said metal the, the same reader board out in front of this restaurant, which this is brilliant by this guy, by I the love way. It. It's getting because great attention. nobody has knows what the Dilworth neighborhood grill is in Charlotte. They do now. But he's got prime location because it is on the way to and from the Panthers facility. And after January, when he put up a, the sign on the reader board, which said, meddling owners never win, run from Jerry Jones, Tepper stopped at the restaurant in January and apparently gave him a piece of his mind. He, the, the owner, Matt Wolf, Wolforth, said that he was sort of pissed off about that one. 
This one, okay, so that was him being pissed off, okay, on the first one. This one is where he took the hat off of the guy. Mm -hmm. So he comes in and takes the hat off the guy. What did he do the first time if this is the second time where he's like, no, he was actually kind of pleasant. He He wasn't as upset this time. But he took the eagle's hat off of the guy's head and put it on the counter next to him and uh, gave him a piece of his mind. David Tepper's lucky he didn't get punched. And then he also picked up the hat again off of the podium lectern, whatever you want to call it there, and showed it to whoever he walked into the restaurant with and put it back down. Yeah, it's just that's. Uh, and if you watch the, the video, sense of entitlement, it's just you, sensitivity. Holy crap, the sensitivity, the sensitivity. Here. Yeah, the, yes. he the the fact that he stops off is just it shows you how absolutely thin skinned this guy is. Yeah, I mean, it's not that we didn't know this. He threw a drink on a fan because a fan talked crap to him. Yeah. yeah, this is in this instance here. In fairness, the Charlotte Observer was a has been on the beat of this one. Mm. They said that um, Tepper was friendly after entering the establishment. Sure. In this in this case, apparently, this was a friendly encounter with David Tepper. Not if you're plucking my hat up right off my head. No, yeah, that is not a friendly that encounter. Right. That ain't gonna go right. Yeah, David Tepper. Uh, he's gonna be one that I think he as long as his. Sh- shenanigans are harmless to the NFL. He's like this godsend. Every league has them, right? Where we we always sit there and be like, how in the world does the NFL, MLB, NBA allow these guys to be owners? It's because guys like David Tepper take all of the heat off of everybody else. Mm-hmm. They they mm-hmm. truly do. Yeah, I mean, it is like you got to have one idiot. You have an idiot owner, and you're just sitting there like, yeah, well, I'm just going to keep my uh, criminal activity to myself. Yeah, because Bob Kraft, when he's out there going to happy hours, bingo, they don't want that being the lead. Let, let the let the idiot be the idiot, so the creeps can be the creeps. Well, like just, that's that's legitimately a thing. And just wait until David Tepper picks the wrong dude to try to do that to. Yeah. Somebody who does not care in Carolina. The whole f around to find out. Yeah. yeah. You about, you about to find you out. You're about to find out. <laughs> you about to find out. You're about to find out. Exactly. So there yeah. you go. There's your latest David Tepper update, who he just uh, skyrocketing up the list of douchebaggery.